Okay, uh, today I'm gonna present uh, my uh, Tika T3 uh, that I bought maybe in 2008 uh, or nine. Uh, so uh, this rifle maybe is like 10 to 12 years old and it served me very well. And I still like it that like the day, the first day I got it. It's a, in a 30 at six uh, caliber. Uh, when I got it, uh, everybody was like preaching back then in the days, uh, get 30 at six, it will serve you for anything uh, to hunt in the United States from all sizes of, of games. Well, it was true statement, but the, uh, but the wiser I got, the older I got, I have like you now uh, uh, a caliber for each of the uh, intended application so I'm not limiting myself to a single um, caliber so uh, enough of the uh, talk and let us explain what we have here today okay this is a basically maybe it's heavily modified uh, Tika T3 it still have uh, its original uh, uh, stock and this stock actually nothing wrong with it maybe people they don't like it because it's a um, it's a plastic, you may uh, um, uh, resonate a bit or whatever they want to say about it, but it's a free floating all the way uh, from uh, the action all the way to the front. This is a 22 inch uh, stainless steel light barrel and the rifle is maybe uh, five pounds, five and a half pounds. When I got it, it used to recall like a mule. After the first uh, uh, 20 rounds, I decided it's not fun anymore to shoot because I got a bru bruised uh, shoulder. Okay, so what makes a Tika T3 uh, an excellent rifle? Because first of all, let us say two things. The action is like a, like a butter. I never saw anything like this action uh, so far, maybe, maybe an old, old uh, uh, Smith & Wesson Model 70 or an old, old Remington 700 back in the days where they used to fit it by hand, um, those actions are all are gone now. But the Tika actually, it has one of the smoothest uh, action you will find all around. The second thing is, to make it safe, actually, let us uh, drop the magazine. And you're gonna see that I have a, a Magpul uh, style long action uh, magazine. Uh, Tika T3, they don't come with those, but I have a conversion from Atlas Works made in, uh, made in Australia. Those are an amazing uh, uh, detachable bottom metal and installation required just a minor filing of the stock and uh, it was easy installation for inletting. And not, not big big deal, uh, there is uh, uh, just a minor filing for the stock and, uh, and maybe the aluminum, the aluminum receiver actually may need a minor, minor filing. But installation, I did it myself. We're gonna talk a bit more about uh, the Atlas works in a short, but in addition, uh, one of the things that the Tika is well uh, famed at is the trigger. This trigger actually is one of the smoothest. Actually, let us make again. There is no magazine and no, uh, no bullets here. I can touch the, the barrel, touch the, the, the chamber. There is nothing inside uh, the barrel. So. So the chamber is safe. Let us test actually uh, the trigger. The trigger actually here is a single stage, but super, super light actually for, it's a two, around, around two, two pounds. I never reduced the pull on this one, but actually if you can see, it's very, very nice. There is no creep, no nothing, and it will break like a glass. Okay, there is no nothing here. It's just immediately solid. I think it will break. Okay, this rifle as, as well has a couple more Atlix Works uh, uh, goodies. The first is this beautiful uh, handle. 
uh, I, or I already ordered one for my uh, Seiko, um, and I have this one too. Um, so I am very happy with those um, additions. It has also this is uh, uh, a, a metallic stainless steel uh, shroud for the bolt instead of the plastic that comes with the Tika. I'm gonna order, I'm gonna order again one, the same set for my Seiko as well. Okay, this rifle came with a, uh, with a, a Weaver style uh, rail. I would uh, have suggested uh, for Tika to, from the start to add a, a, um, a Picatinny rail from start instead of adding this useless uh, weaver rail. Because uh, OptiLock, maybe are the, from Seiko, uh, are the ones they intended to use for, but most of the United States, they don't use those OptiLock, which are expensive uh, rings and better for them to install uh, a, a rail like this one. This is an aftermarket, a 20 MOA, EGW uh, uh, Picatinny rail from EGW. It's very, very well made, I like them. Maybe I have a couple of those, I'm, ha I'm very happy with them. Okay, so this one has uh, also the rings, they came up from UTG. Uh, I had many scopes on this rifle, uh, maybe at least two, I believe, or three. One was Bushnell Elite. Today I'm putting a, a Boris XTR2 525 on this beautiful rifle. Uh, this is an ex excellent scope. I like it a lot. It's very accurate with repeatable, uh, um, with repeatable uh, clicks, actually. Okay, they are tactile and you can hear them as well. Okay. <laughs> But I think they don't have a, a zero stop on this model. Regardless, I put it on zero here, okay? And I'm very happy with it, okay? Uh, I added this one actually, a bubble from Lone Star. It has a very small bubble, so it should be very accurate. And uh, as you see here right now, uh, it, uh, the bubble is between the two lines. Okay, so I added also this uh, uh, um, adjustable stock chic riser from, uh, from I believe it was on uh, uh, Amazon or eBay and don't remember, but those are like 30 bucks and very easy uh, to install. Uh, just two screws here, two drills and you install it. To, to tame the, 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 the horrendous recall on this uh, rifle, the first thing I added is actually this limb saver, one inch, uh, very soft. I love those limb savers, recall pads. I cannot uh, recommend them enough on any rifle, regardless of uh, the caliber. So come forward. I have uh, an Atlas uh, bipod. Uh, sorry, it's not Atlas, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Harris, sorry. It's a Harris uh, bipod. Uh, with the adjustable uh, swivel here, okay. This swivel will uh, will lock it and lock it in place, uh, and you can you can it uh, tilt it left and right maybe, or canting if you want. You call it whatever you would like to call it. Actually, it goes cant to the left or cant to the right. Uh, this one has also a limb saver, uh, anti resonator. People they don't believe uh, with the, uh, in, on those. Uh, most of the time they are correct. If they do hand loads, they don't need those. You can use those, those to tune a, a factory uh, load, especially on a light barrel like this one, since it will resonate and you need, you need to use this one. But I don't use it to uh, tune anything, actually. I install it and develop my own loads for this rifle. After, um, I, of course, I've got, I added the, the wit machine's uh, uh, muzzle brake. Those are very, very nicely done ones. I love them. I have maybe two or three of those. And they do fit very well. And once I put this behind this, I develop my loads. And this rifle has produced three shots in the same row. And at one time, after I zeroed, 
um, it was uh, producing 10 shots in the same one inch at 100 yards. So I was bored uh, putting shots in the same one inch. Uh, so it's very beautiful rifle as you can see. Now I can use a detachable magazine from Atlas Works, uh, sorry, the, the bottom detachable, the, the, uh, the bottom detachable magazine block or metal. Um, I, um, I installed it from Atlas Works. It's a very, very nice one. I love it. And this one too is from Magpul. They call it the long action. And um, it's easy to install. Okay, one click, you are done, okay? Um, Atlas Works, they provide two kind of uh, ma magazine release latch. One is like tactile, long one, and they have also uh, one mo model that you can add as an option. Uh, it's a hidden, you can, uh, it's a hidden in a sense that it, it will protrude maybe up to here on the side of the trigger guard and you can, uh, you can drop it for the rear index from this side or if you are uh, left-handed, you can drop it like this on this side. I don't have that option. Maybe I should uh, order one. Especially useful when you have a short magazine instead of a tall magazine. So this does not go way lower than the magazine bottom. So I think the idea is if you have a short magazine, um, you can use uh, the short uh, hidden mag release. And this way you, uh, uh, you, you can use it without being protruding to lower than that okay here it does not matter because nothing will hit this one when you have this uh, bottom of the magazine uh, higher than this one okay so you don't you cannot accidentally drop the magazine if you are laying down the rifle on a on a on the ground or anything else nothing will hit this one okay if you prefer to have the hidden uh, mag release it's also possible. So as you see, uh, this is my rifle. I'm very happy with it. Um, and most likely as well, uh, uh, um, Seiko, um, uh, Seiko A7, okay, we are, uh, Atlas Works are working on uh, getting a detachable bottom metal for the Seikos. And that will be a really, really exciting time since the only option that was available from CDI. But uh, Jeff, the owner, Jeffrey, the owner of CDI, passed away um, uh, 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 last year, I believe. So uh, hopefully the Atlas Works can help us and get an, uh, a Seiko A7 detachable bottom uh, metal. Thank you very much for watching.